here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Tom Wormy along with Riley Skinner and the head coach of the NC State Wolfpack, Dave Doran, the first-year head coach. Coach, tell us about the adjustments in Raleigh with the Wolfpack this year. Uh, the first nine months have been great. You know, I mean, uh, every day there's a, a new thing that you got to deal with you didn't expect, but uh, people are fantastic. A lot of support, a lot of excitement. Uh, players have really worked hard. I think they're uh, anxious and eager to try to be better. And uh, it's been a really nice place for our families. We've all moved all these guys in with kids, and I have three, and we have 22 others on our staff. So just to see all the people fitting in and, you know, trying to find a house and get used to where they're at, and, and now everybody's kind of in a routine. It's It's been a good transition. Coach, you come into the program, and you lose starting quarterback Mike Glennon. I know you've got the question a bunch, but – what has that battle looked like in the offseason? Who's kind of emerged as the top signal caller right now? Well, coming out of spring, Pete was ahead of Manny. Um, just more experience and not where we want him to be. Um, but I told him, I said, it's not clear cut. And so we'll go into the summer and, and let him earn the job in, in the fall. And, and then we added Brandon Mitchell from Arkansas to compete with, for the job. And Brandon's a tremendous athlete. And um, the offense I like to run, it helps if that guy can run a little bit more than Pete can. But at the same time, as you know, you got to be able to deliver the rock, you know. And, and so we'll see who the best game management, management guy is coming out of the fall. And we got two freshmen coming in that were state champions in high school. So there'll be five guys early on getting reps, and then we'll cut the list pretty quickly. And, and Coach, in the secondary, you lose a tremendous amount of talent right. with David Amerson and Old Wolf. How are you replacing that, and who has started to step up this spring? Well, Dante Johnson comes back with a lot of experience. Um, Justin Burris had a really good spring. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with him. And then, uh, you know, to have Jarvis Bird, who was a corner we moved to safety, has really good coverage ability and kind of got a chip on his shoulder, a lot to prove, had two different ACL injuries. So I know he's eager, like a guy that's lost football before, to show how much he loves the game. And, and we're going to be young back there. You know, Akeem Jones was the other safety that took the most reps with the first group. And Tim Buckley, Penn State transfer, you know, uh, gave us some depth there as well. So, but we signed five defensive backs in this class, and uh, wouldn't be surprised to see one or two of those guys playing a little bit. Coach, but, I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but when you look at that schedule, that first conference game, yeah. you see the Clemson Tigers. Sure do. And what a great way to get it started for you, a chance to make a, a statement for the Wolfpack. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, they're obviously one of the best teams in our league, return as many or more players than anybody else. We lost more than everybody, and they've got more back than anybody. So it's a tough challenge, but uh, we look forward to the opportunity to play them and see where we stand with one of the best teams in our league. Coach, we appreciate your time and all the best to the Wolfpack this season. Appreciate it. Go Pack. Yeah, and thank you for watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.